going to talk about peripheral vascular disease and diabetes. A patient who is a diabetic is prone for peripheral vascular disease. But before we go into it, what is peripheral vascular disease? It is the blockage of the blood vessels supplying your legs. So how will the patient present? They will have pain in the leg when they walk. It is typical when the pain increases when the patient walks and reduces when the patient stops. So this is peripheral vascular disease. A patient who has peripheral vascular disease is prone for cardiac diseases. So it is also a sign that a patient who has these symptoms can have heart diseases. How do we manage? One, we need to take care of your legs. Those patients are more prone for ulcers in the foot which can sometimes lead to gangrene and sometimes even as, as extreme as amputation. You need to take care of your legs well, clean them well, wear a socks and shoe always which is well fitted, avoid walking in bare foot. Even if you find any small ulcers, you have to meet your doctor and get it cleared. I am going to talk about how to control your diabetes and prevent it from getting worse. First of all, it is in your hands. You need to make a commitment that to deal with diabetes. Number one is to get your sugar under control. You have to make physical activity a part of your routine. You need to eat healthy. You need to quit smoking, reduce your weight, control other risk factors like cholesterol, blood pressure. We all have to maintain the blood pressure of less than 130 by 80 millimeters of mercury. When these risk factors combine together, it can cause a heart attack and sudden cardiac death. I'm going to talk about cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Compared to a non-diabetic patient, a diabetic patient has at least two to four folds increased risk of cardiovascular disease, and almost 50% of them die due to cardiovascular disease. The reason why a diabetic patient has cardiac disease is because because of the blocks a patient develops in the blood blood vessels supplying the heart, causing chest discomfort and heart attack and sometimes sudden cardiac death. It is very important to manage patients with diabetes and heart disease by one, reducing your uh, weight, managing your stress levels, managing sugar levels, maintaining HbA1c of less than 7%, man managing blood pressure, maintaining a blood pressure of less than 130 by 80 millimeters of mercury and to check with your physician at regular intervals. Sometimes aspirin can help in reducing cardiac disease.